Hello, I'm Dan from EMC and I'm going to be talking you through Mood Swing, our analytical software and how it works. So this is our patch and basically we've divided it into several sections and this is the first section we'll be looking at which is the live analysis section. So we can read a waveform into a graph so we can take a look at it. This is the sample we're going to be looking at. And we can also open it for live analysis. So now we have the sample loaded into uh, both the waveform and the live analysis section. We need to choose none from the filter so we can hear what's going on. Turn on the sound and click play. So, as you can see here, we've got a frequency versus amplitude graph, which just shows the spectrum against its amplitude, and that's live. And here we have a sonograph which displays time scrolling along the bottom and frequency up the side and intensity as the colour. And that can give us some interesting feedback and it can give it some visual indication of what things like filters might be doing etc. This is just a standard level meter which gives out the decibels and we also have a dynamic range calculation down here which you can restart just by clicking this button. So that's the live analysis section, which can give us an idea of what's going on. This is just a standard oscilloscope graph, just for reference. So that's that section. Now we can go on to the BPM detection system, which basically sends the audio signal into a filter here, which we can choose, which is a band pass, shall we say. And basically it sends the output of that filter signal into a level meter which is monitored for its maximum amplitude which is compared against this threshold which you can set and uh, if it's greater than the threshold it sends out a click and the clicks are analyzed in this patch here there is a timer which counts in milliseconds in between the clicks and then an average time is calculated and then that average time is sent to this rudimentary math system here which gives you a BPM reading. So that's a fairly simple patch there. We can turn on the automatic BPM calculation just with this toggle. We can um, start the audio off again and start messing about with the filter. Now we want to get a strong pulse in order to get an effective click and as this is trance we want to be looking at the kick drum so we can see it clicking along now There we go, it's now clicking along with the pulse and it should be giving us an accurate BPM. Fairly accurate, it does vary a little bit, uh, but all automatic BPM systems tend to do that. Failing that, of course, you can also click in your own BPM, which is handy for music that doesn't have a strong pulse, piano music, etc. So we can stop that section now and go on to our next section. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, multiband frequency analysis patch. Here it is. We've got nine individual frequency band spectrums which come up here. Uh, basically, the way that this works is we have the original audio signal coming into this patch, and uh, we have a series of high and low pass filters with set bandwidths based on Fletcher Munson curves. This enables us to look at areas of the frequency spectrum which respond best uh, to the human ear and which the human ear responds the best to. So we've got nine frequency bands which enables us to look at dynamic trends within um, these areas rather than looking at things like pitch, etc. So uh, the nine filtered frequency bands are fed into buffers which are recorded for further analysis 
and they're also fed into this patch here which analyzes the d dynamic range and the way that this works is a series of level meters um, monitoring the decibel level of the audio signal are analyzed for their minimum and maximum values and uh, that is output as a dynamic range value so I'll just go back to the main screen uh, we have a toggle system here which enables us to select which frequency bands we want to record originally we recorded all nine simultaneously but that was quite testing on some machines processes so uh, we implemented this system which uh, saves a lot of processing power so we'll select a few bands to record say those six and go back to our uh, file so we can start to play now the uh, play button should toggle the record automatically and you can see the live analysis section and everything still works while this process is going on and we have a dynamic range section here which tells us the dynamic range of each individual frequency band which we can restart by clicking on this button each range uh, has a different dynamic range we get some quite interesting results so when we want to stop recording we'll just click the stop button and it should give us the waveforms of each of the frequency bands that have been recorded. Now we can see each band has different characteristics which can be analyzed and uh, dynamic effects can be extracted which can give us interesting information on your mix and uh, how it's put together, which frequency areas are uh, affecting the most kind of response uh, by your ears and thus your brain and uh, various other effects as well and this automatically refreshes every 30 seconds so when you're doing a recording it can uh, can reanalyze the, the waveform and resize the graph according to how long it is so that's basically how it works and uh, along with this we can couple it with our research to give us quite interesting feedback to give to you on uh, your mix and how to possibly improve it to uh, boost the effects of automatic biological response. So that concludes my little walkthrough. Thanks for listening.